revealing the most powerful antioxidant that you have never heard of. It's one of the keys to fighting off the diseases that you fear the most. It is called glutathione. Now write it down because it's critically important. And here to tell us about it is the director of Yale University's Prevention Research Center and my good friend, Dr. David Katz. Now, Dr. David. So, glutathione has been described in, in many places as the superhero of antioxidants. Now, why is that? How come no one's ever heard of it before? Because unlike most antioxidants people think about getting in a supplement, this one the body makes. That's the reason people haven't heard about it. It's going on all the time. It's also the reason why it really is the most important antioxidant. It's the one that the body relies on itself to clean up critical toxins. So it's being manufactured all the time, and the body makes critical use of this to defend us against a variety of toxins. So I've got a little demonstration because I want to make this really clear to folks. This is absolutely essential. You know how I talk about all the things to do in your life, right? The foods to eat, the antioxidant vitamins to take. They all work through this. In the body, you've got glutathione. And you also have looks lots just of like cells. That. Looks just like this, yeah. right? And so you've got these green normal cells, and you also have toxic cells. Some of these are from outside your body. Some of them are, are cells of your own that have been damaged by free radicals, and they've been oxidized. Damaged by the sun, damaged from foods, whatever. If you put in the normally existing glutathione in your body, it will soak up a lot of these bad boys, take them away, just like that. Now, if you don't have enough of the glutathione, now you put it in there, and you'll be lucky if you just get one of these toxic cells out. So you lose the powerful, natural ability of your body to heal itself. And we always brag about how the body can help you almost always recover, but only if you help it do that for you. That's what this segment is about. Now, David, how do you know? You like, like that? I like that. Good. I'll take it home with you. <laughs> okay, thanks. Go back to yellow. Like My kids will love <laughs> Now, how do you know if you don't have enough glutathione in your body? So, the, the issue is this. If you have a chronic disease, most serious chronic diseases are associated with low levels of glutathione. So if you have diabetes, if you've been through cancer, if you're struggling with a serious infection, that may indicate that you're depleting your glutathione, may be worth checking your level, certainly worth doing things to bring your level back up. And then also, if you're chronically run down, if you're chronically fatigued, if your body just isn't firing at all cylinders, low glutathione may be part of it, both cause and effect. So you have to be sort of clued into how you're feeling and your general state of health. So you're at a big center, and people come to you all the time. When you give people glutathione, in whatever form you get it to them in, what happens to them? So, uh, in my clinic, we have a patient with Parkinson's who comes in weekly for an intravenous infusion of glutathione right into the vein, fairly high dose. And both we and the patient's neurologists are convinced that it has helped stabilize his condition. How do you like that? It hasn't cured it, yeah. hasn't made it go away, but it has helped prevent any further progression. And I think more and more we're going to see studies supporting that kind of application. What is the most important molecule that you need to stay healthy and prevent disease? Hi, this is Dr. Mark Hyman. Welcome back. Now, why have most of you never heard about this? And why is it the secret to prevent aging, cancer, heart disease, dementia, and more? And why is it necessary to treat everything from autism to Alzheimer's? And why are there over 76,000 medical articles about it, and your doctor doesn't know how to address the epidemic deficiency of this critical life-giving molecule? What is it? It's the mother of all antioxidants, the master detoxifier, and the maestro of the immune system. It's called glutathione. The good news is your body produces its own glutathione. The bad news is that our poor diet, pollution, toxins, medications, stress, trauma, aging, infections, and radiation all deplete your body's glutathione levels. And this leaves you susceptible to unrestrained cell disintegration from oxidative stress and free radicals to infections and cancer and your liver gets overloaded making it damaged and unable to do its job of detoxification. So you know in treating chronically ill patients using functional medicine over the last 10 years I have found that glutathione deficiency is found in nearly all of my very ill patients. Those who have chronic fatigue, heart disease, cancer, chronic infections, autoimmune diseases, diabetes, autism, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, arthritis, asthma, kidney problems, liver disease, you name it. If you're very sick, you likely have a glutathione deficiency. Now at first I thought this was just coincidental when I saw this, but over the years I've come to realize that our ability to produce and maintain a high level of this glutathione molecule in our bodies 
is critical to recovery from nearly all chronic illness and to prevent disease and to maintain optimal health and performance. And, and so have the authors of the 76,000 medical articles on glutathione. Okay, so what's glutathione? What does it do for us? And how can we get more of it? Well, glutathione is a very simple molecule that's produced naturally all the time in your body. It's a combination of three simple building blocks we call amino acids, cysteine, glycine, and glutamate. The secret of its power is the sulfur chemicals it contains. It's sulfur is a very sticky, smelly molecule. It sort of acts like flypaper and all the bad things in the body stick onto it. Free radicals and toxins like mercury and other heavy metals. Normally it's recycled in the body, except when the toxic load becomes too high. And that explains why we're in such trouble. You know, in my practice, I test for the genes involved in glutathione metabolism. Genes involved in producing the enzymes that allow the body to produce and recycle the glutathione. You know, they have lots of names, GSTM1 and GSTP1 and so on. The fact is that we all evolved in a time before there were 80,000 toxic industrial chemicals that were introduced into our world, before electromagnetic radiation was everywhere, before we polluted our lakes and rivers and skies and oceans and teeth with dental amalgams and, and with mercury and lead. And that's why we often got by with just a basic version of the genetic detoxification software that's encoded in their DNA. And it's sort of mediocre at getting rid of toxins in the body. We just really didn't need more. Who knew we would be poisoning ourselves and eating a processed, nutrition-depleted diet? That's why almost half of the population has a limited capacity to get rid of toxins. They're missing GSTM1 function. And nearly all my very sick patients, including me, which explains why I became mercury poison and why I suffer, why I suffer from chronic fatigue, are missing this particular gene. And that, that makes them the yellow canaries in the coal mine. And that may be up to one-third to one-half of our population who suffers from chronic disease. So why is glutathione so important? Well, it recycles all the antioxidants in the body. It helps us deal with free radicals. And, and, and dealing with free radicals is like handling a hot potato, right? The free radical gets passed around. It goes from vitamin C to vitamin E to lipoic acid, and then finally to glutathione, which cools it off and recycles the other antioxidants. And then the body can reduce or regenerate another protective glutathione molecule. And we're back in business. The problem occurs when we're overwhelmed with too much oxidative stress or too many toxins. Then glutathione becomes depleted, leading us towards some terrible illness. And we can no longer protect ourselves against free radicals or infections or cancer, and we can't get rid of toxins, and this leads to further accumulation and further illness. Glutathione is also critical in helping your immune system do its job of fighting infections and preventing cancer. And that's why studies show that it can help even in the treatment of AIDS. Glutathione is also the most critical and integral part of your detoxification system. All the toxins stick onto glutathione, which then carries it in the bile and the stool and out of our body. So that's great. And lastly, it helps us reach peak mental and physical functioning. And in fact, research has shown that, that raised glutathione levels actually decrease muscle damage reduce recovery time, increase strength and endurance, and shift metabolism from fat production to muscle development. So if you're sick or old or just not in peak shape, you likely have glutathione deficiency. In fact, the top British medical journal, The Lancet, found that the highest glutathione levels were found in healthy young people, a little bit lower in healthy elderly, and lower still in the sick elderly, and the lowest of all was in the hospitalized sick elderly. So keeping yourself healthy Boosting your performance, preventing disease and aging will depend on keeping your glutathione levels high. So the reason that glutathione is so important is that it's responsible for keeping so many of the keys to ultra wellness optimized. It's critical for immune function and controlling inflammation. It's the master detoxifier. detoxifier. It's the main antioxidant and protects our cells and, and our energy metabolism. Uh, so, so, so what about the good news? Okay, I give you a lot of bad news. The good news is you can do a lot of things to increase this natural and critical molecule in your body. So you can eat glutathione boosting foods, you can exercise, and you can take glutathione boosting supplements. Fortunate enough to travel around the world and see genius and a lot of opportunities, but less of an opportunity where you actually get to be in the same room with genius. With the belief and the passion that he has about 
putting some product out there on a global basis for everybody, no matter how rich you are or how poor you are, that's what Max is all about. If you talk to any medical scientist working on glutathione, they will tell you glutathione is the master antioxidant. There is no other antioxidant endogenous that can do what glutathione can do. It can do multiple things. I vowed that within my lifetime, I would like to see ribosine be taken by almost everyone that needs it in the whole world. That includes not only rich countries, but also the poor countries, mm -hmm. especially the poor countries. I've actually improved my football. I've become a better father. I had the day of my life. I set a total of five world records. I've just seen fantastic benefits from using longevity. All athletes think about how fast I'm going to recover. And the max, it works. It just gave me such a power increase. I've had amazing results in improved performance and recovery. Rejuvenated all my energy. That's given me a new lease on life. Max products are exactly what you're looking for. Only supplement type product that we endorse at all. And uh, I was introduced to the product and just found it amazing. When you get on this product, you feel like a kid again. This is a category. This is a standalone. This is not an improvement on something. This is not a better creatine or a better protein or a better ibuprofen right. or whatever. It's not. It's a different category.